Hi everybody and welcome to AERC's Big Ideas Theater. I'm your host Ed Hyland. You know over the course of this year's AERC Congress, uh, clinicians will present the results of their scientific studies during the open forum. And the guy who's leading the open forum is sitting here right beside me, Dr. Dean Hess. Thank you so much for uh, coming by and joining us once again. It's great to talk to you. Good to be here. Let's talk a little bit about the open forum and give us an idea of you know, what's the value of exchanging all the ideas on the open forum. I think there's a lot of value to the open forum. First of all, the open forum is an opportunity for new research to be presented and that then will hopefully be things that we can all take back home and our patients can benefit from that. There's value to the open forum for the presenters. So this is an opportunity for people to showcase the research that they're doing back home to be able to have a forum to be able to present those research findings. There is value for this Congress. So a big part of this Congress is the presentation of open forum abstracts. So it makes a contribution uh, to the Congress. And then finally, I have to say as the editor of Respiratory Care, mm -hmm. that it also is it generates uh, manuscripts that then we will be able to publish uh, after this meeting is over. Well, let's drill down just a little bit and talk about the abstracts. How are they presented during the course, course of the open forum? So there are three ways that abstracts can be presented. Uh, the lion's share of the abstracts are presented in poster discussion sessions. And that's the way that abstracts have been presented at this meeting for many years. But we implemented something new, uh, which we're doing now for the third consecutive year, where many of the abstracts are still presented in that fashion, but there are some that are selected to be editor's choice abstracts, and there are also some abstracts that are selected to be poster-only abstracts. So there are now three different ways that the abstracts might get presented. Give us, uh, for example, some of the criteria for the editor's choice. So the editor's choice are 10 abstracts that uh, we, the editorial staff, uh, believe are the cream of the crop, if you would. So we go through all of the accepted abstracts and select 10 of those abstracts that we call the editor's choice abstract. And we do some things to bring additional attention to those abstracts. So for example, as you walk into the exhibit hall, you will see those posters uh, hanging uh, for those 10 editor's choice abstracts. But in addition to that, on Monday morning at this meeting, there will be the presentation of those abstracts in a podium PowerPoint type of presentation. So it will be different than the presentation of the other abstracts where each of the presenters will come to the podium, will use a PowerPoint presentation to go over their findings, and then we entertain some discussion from the audience. So it's really uh, what we highlight as uh, what we think are, are, are the best of the abstracts, so the editor's choice abstracts, and then uh, also uh, these uh, presenters are all, uh, I would say, invited, but they're actually required mm -hmm. to submit a, a manuscript. So then we hope that this will generate content for the journal uh, for next year. And, and as a layperson watching the open forum, I, I'm always intrigued by how much just talking. I mean, there's the presentation, of, of course, but also the fact that there begins uh, an exchange of ideas. And people, perhaps, with two different abstracts will come together. I mean, there's that, it's a networking, but it's also an exchange of ideas that perhaps build on, builds on the next year's presentation. The, the dynamic is great, because uh, for the poster discussions, particularly, there's that period of uh, just viewing the the posters before there is the formal mini presentations of the research findings. And that's an opportunity for all of us to mingle, to share ideas, uh, to uh, drill down a bit on the subject matter that might be on the poster. And, uh, and you're absolutely correct. I think that there are the genesis of a lot of good ideas for posters that might be presented next year at the Open Forum come from those interactions. So it's time to get ready and start thinking about Indianapolis 2017. Absol absolutely, without question. It's not too early to begin. Certainly you don't want to begin 
uh, the, the work for your abstract a uh, week before the <laughs> deadline. That's not going to work out very well. Dr. Dean, has, as always, it's a pleasure talking to you. Nice talking with you. And this is the Big Ideas Theater at AARC. I'm Ed Hyland. Thanks for joining us.